Nothing about this content is changing, just getting added to. I'm changing beeped up text name back to regular beeped up, bringing all content back together under one roof. So all the different topics that I want to cover will all be uploaded here, but only on specific days for specific categories, including Samsung and Apple videos. Those will always be on Saturday with the exception of announcement and launch dates. The full schedule is in the description. Good afternoon. My name is Taylor, this is Beamed Up. The S20s are finally here. You already know about 120Hz refresh rate, you already know about blah 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 blah, the zooming, the 8K video, yada yada yada, 12 gigs of RAM, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, but here are some little Easter egg, like nice little software tidbits that they sprinkled in and didn't talk much about. Number one. Number one is contextually based screenshot hashtagging capabilities. Say if you're on the home screen, for example, and you press the ch -ch screenshot button, you will find that it knows that the calculator is being shown, the calendar, TikTok, Instagram, and even software-related screenshots is an option that the phone automatically throws up there with the option, of course, to save your own or make your own. You can tap on any or all of these to assign them to the screenshot. For example, you're on a web page and you take a screenshot, and from here it takes things like Google or a music video or news, Samsung internet, things of that nature. So you can just da -da 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 -da, assign all those or add your own. And then that makes the picture way easier to find in gallery later. If you hit the search button and you just type in Samsung, for example, then all the pictures that have anything, any hashtag related to Samsung will pop up, including the one that you just assigned that to. And you do not have to, and that's just accessible from the, ah, that, that's cool. Makes things a lot easier to find, at least the screenshots that is. And it's, I don't know, I, I like that a lot. Number two, in messages, you can now split them up into different categories. So if, say, if you have your regular ones and then your work category, you can switch back and forth between the two, assign threads to each category uh, to your liking to make conversations way easier to keep track of. They didn't have this on the S10s or any other Samsung phone that I've seen, actually any other phone period that I've seen with the stock messaging app at least. This is super, super awesome. I, I applaud them for adding this little functionality in there. Next is the selfie camera. And you'll notice, you know, the single person icon and then the multi-person icon. You used to be able to, to, you know, switch back and forth between the two if you wanted to get more people in the shot. With these, it's, if, it's, if it starts out on the single person icon and then it detects another face, in this particular example, for some reason it didn't do it, probably because the phone was screen recording. That's the only thing that I could tell that was different about this situation. But when it detects another face, it automatically widens for you and to fit everybody in. So it's like, oh, there's another face. Let's switch to a wider mode. And just the fact that it does that just automatically is a nice little subtle but very convenient little tidbit that they tossed in there. Number three, this one I was super delighted about. You remember when the iPhone XS, yeah, actually either the XS or the 11, I think it was the 11 that they announced where if you're in the photo part of the camera, you could just hold down the photo button and start recording. Same thing as Snapchat, the same thing as Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook stories, YouTube stories, blah, 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 blah. That press and hold to record mentality has been conditioned into us for years and now Samsung has baked that into their camera app as well. <coughs> <clears throat> and I was stoked to find this present. I was uh, one of my friends that was giving me that insider info about the S20s. I was like, dude, do they have like the press and hold the capture button to record? Because I really, really wanted that inside the native Samsung camera app. And they're like, yes, they do. And I was like, yes! So glad that they put that in there. Number four, night mode now has a moon phase style countdown whenever, well, on top of telling you how many, how many seconds you will need to hold the phone still, which is already awesome. After you press the capture button, the countdown thing will kind of, will show the phases of the moon as it fills up the circle with yellow, counting down to when the picture will be completed taking. And I, I love that little touch. Night mode, moon phase, <laughs> get it? See what they did there? But I, I really like that. That was a very charming little software addition that they made. Number five, you can now natively sync your gallery with OneDrive. So if you go into the gallery settings, and then there at the top, at the top you'll see sync with OneDrive, and then you can <clears throat> pick the folders of your phone to sync that with. Now you can't sync folders that are on your SD card 
I don't know exactly why, but just if you are one who transfers files to and from, or at least to, from your phone to your computer or elsewhere that you access OneDrive from, you can just create a folder or an album in your gallery that's on your device and then, you know, go throughout the day, shoot, 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 and then just move those files into that folder that automatically syncs with OneDrive. And then inst instead of having to like go there, select all of them, hit the share button, scroll through the apps that you can share it to, hit OneDrive, and then go to the file that you want to sync it up to and then tap that and then tap the plus button or the check button to start the sync. You can just plop them all in there and it happens automatically. And that is way, way convenient because I, I use this all the time. And for those that also do something similar, very, very convenient. Number six, or whichever number we're on, this one is one. <coughs> this one is one of my favorites. And I'll just like take this and and, whoop, and just show you that way. And also the ability to hit record. And then during the recording, flip the camera lens around to the front. And then as just simultaneously be like, okay, now you saw what I wanted you to see. Now back to whatever. So it's like a vlogger's dream being able to be like, oh, look at that. Check it out. Bloop. And then look at whatever you'd like to look at. Dude, being able to do that is pimping. Oh, that is, it's so simple. But it's a, it's a little thing that they don't really like make a big fanfare out of, but that is going to be so useful. Especially for those that do a lot of recording and a lot of vlogging. Just flip, 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 flop while recording. God, it's gonna be a, a huge shot in the arm to uh, filmmakers everywhere. Now that the 20 series is out and I've finally acquired the S20 Ultra, I will be making even more vids. Oh, I forgot one. Actually, I don't need to scoot over for this. You know how people are like, AK video is useless. It doesn't do anything like, <coughs> you know, you can't even view it in full quality you know, unless you have an 8K TV and even those are super expensive. I don't have one. But one article kind of expanded on another reason why I, on another, yeah, on what I consider the only thing 4K video on a cell phone is good for, and that is, being able to crop in digitally without losing any quality uh, to a certain extent, of course. So with 8K, you can not only t make take you know a wide shot here and then take this little part, expand that into full screen, and have that to be what appears to be another angle, and do that you know m multiple different times with one camera shot. But you know how people were saying, and I can I experienced it myself where the 8k video recording as you're panning there's a lot of rolling shutter especially since it's only 24 frames per second and there's a way that you can circumvent that instead of taking the phone and going like Ooh, just take the phone and go like this or you know back up a little bit further so you get a wider shot and just do it like this and then if you want to go through this effort a lot of people probably won't but filmmakers can then take this part and then move it over here and just have the footage itself move past the screen. No more rolling shutter and a perfectly smooth panning shot. That, ah, I, I actually, I'm, at the time of recording this, I haven't tried this yet. And so as I edit what you just saw, wow, there's like time, line, pair, anyway, it's, it's awesome, it's super cool. One more thing before I go, about the price, yes, it's, the, the MSRP is $1,400. However, if you are in the US and, <clears throat> or even outside the US, and you get your phones on like an installment agreement, like AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, or any other carriers across the pond that I'm not aware of the names of that do the same thing, some carriers, at least AT&T, have a way that you can pay like, you know, $5 extra per month for the installments on the phone, and then in 24 months, no, 12 months, when you pay off half of it, at least, they'll let you give it back to them and then get a new phone. So next year, when the S30s or S21s or whatever come out, I, or after I have paid half of this, I can be like, here you go, AT&T, and how much money will I have spent on that over time? Only half. So really, I'm only paying, I'm only going to end up paying $700 for this. Keep that in mind. It doesn't apply to everybody, but it's a, it's, it's, a way to soften the blow because yeah no i didn't throw down fourteen hundred dollars on that i don't have the ability to come on man like no 
but it's, it's food for thought. Oh yeah, on Twitter I said that when I got the Ultra I would lick it on camera. And I told you I was gonna do it. Mm. Tastes like awesome! I'm gonna start putting together a little vlog that I shot yesterday when we're on the way to film a wedding. It's shot entirely with the S20 Ultra and that's probably going to pop up on next Thursday, I believe, if I get it done in, by then, because there's a lot, yeah, whatever. Look out for that one if you want to see. I need to get back into vlogging, man, like, and, and the ones I actually really take my time on and that, those are always some of my favorites. Anyways, thank you for watching. I mean, watching, speaking of washing, wash your hands all the time and stay beaming. Also, I found this weird red button laying around. Go ahead and poke that and just let me know what it does. I, I don't know what it's for.